Today I have a lovely model, Mariana. She's also a makeup artist and she does hair. And I'm applying a little uh, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and then topping it with a bit of MAC Vanilla Eyeshadow as the base. And I'm just coming in with a, a large area of Max Kid as a, as a first transition color, coming almost up to the brow above the crease. Now I'm uh, embellishing the transition area and the outer V with a little bit of Max Quarry, and I'm smoking it along the, the lash line a little bit as well. And then I darken that up with just a tiny little bit of. Uh, uh, Max Embark as well and blend it out with more quarry. So the lid part is the tricky part. I mixed uh, two pigments, a silver, Mayron Silver and Mac Violet pigment with Inglet Duraline and I made a color gradient so that the lightest, the most silver color is on the very inside of the lid and then it works back becoming more purple as it moves towards the outside of the lid. So it's basically a silver to uh, purples to a lilac silver gradient on the lid. Now in order to blend that, because this is a highly shiny lid, in order to blend it into the matte colors in the corner I'm using an intermediate uh, shade which is Max Shale. Almost looks matte but it has a dull metallic gleam so it's kind of perfect for this and it's the right color as well. And then I uh, put on some Max Soft and Gentle highlight but it just wasn't intense enough so we consulted and she decided that she wanted to try out some crazy highlight and I thought hey why not it's fun right so we I mixed a pigment which is a basically a diamond uh, powder kind of pigment um, I'll put it on the website with some Inglet Duraline and then I applied that rather heavily um, in to the inner corners I just sort of uh, did a final blend and uh, darkened up some, darkened up the outer corner with some more of uh, Max Embark, and then tight lined with Max Chromaline and Black Black, and lined the eyes with it, and then went over the liner and and blended the liner back into the smoky outer corner using. Um, Bobbi Brown Charcoal, which is a dark, a very black eyeshadow. And blending it in using a little more of the Embark. So at some point in your life, this will happen to you. You will be applying makeup, it'll look really nice, you have it all blended out, it looks good, and you realize one side's just a little uneven and you try to fix it and you smudge it, and it's wrecked, and it's really hard to fix and it's gonna take a long time. And the only thing you can really do in that situation is hand someone a nice glass of alcohol. and then move on to the brows. So I made her apply her own mascara. That's the kind of horrible, lazy makeup artist I am, but she was wearing contacts, so it just worked better. This is Lancome Hypnos on a MAC mascara wand. I did, went on and did the face makeup and, um, and then cleaned with a Q-tip the waterline so that I could apply some of a flesh tone um, pencil and blended that into the gleaming inner corner highlight so that there's a bit of a transition. And then I smoked out the bottom lash line with a little bit of the MAC Shale eyeshadow. And that's the final look. Isn't she adorable? Like seriously, so much fun to work with too. Yeah, she looks just beautiful. I mean, she started out that way so I can't take too much credit, but she really looks lovely. Thank you so much, Mariana. I hope we get to do this again soon. Maybe you can apply makeup to me. See what you can do with this face. This is way too much highlight. <sighs> Painter corner is visible from outer space. And the outer shading is ruined. Ruined! Day makes everything better, though. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye.